no kissing until I get a wedding ring. All right, okay, sorry. Let's, let's, well, good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> we are gathered here today not to witness the beginning of what will be, but rather what already is. We do not. We do not create. <laughs> We, did, we do not create this marriage because we cannot. We can and do, however, celebrate with Matt, Matthew Todd Shepard, and Lindsay Brianne Lemieux, and their friends and families, uh, the wondrous and joyful occurrence that has already taken place in their lives. So let the ceremony begin. <laughs> marriage is a supreme sharing of experiences and an adventure in the most intimate of human relationships. It is the joyous union of two people whose comradeship and mutual understanding have flowered in romance. Today, Matthew Todd Shepard and Lindsay Brianne Lemieux proclaim their love and commitment to the world, and we gather here to rejoice with and for them in the new life they now undertake together. The joy we feel now is, solemn, is a solemn joy because the act of marriage has many consequences, both social and personal. Marriage requires love, a word often used with vagueness and sentimentality. We may assume that love is some rare and mystical event when in fact it is our natural state of being. Who's dog We have no idea. I found a wedding So what do we mean by love? When we love, we see things other people do not. We see beneath the surface to the qualities which make our beloved special and unique. To see with loving eyes is to know inner beauty, and to be loved is to be seen, and known as we are known to no other. One who loves us gives us a unique gift, a piece of ourselves, but a piece that only they could give us. Who we love can look at each or who or we who love can look at each other's life and say, I touched his life, or I touched her life. Just as an artist may say, I touched this canvas, those brush strokes in the corner of this magnificent mural, those are mine. I was a part of this life, and it is a part of me. Marriage is to be linked to each other through a unique and diverse collaboration, like two threads crossing in different directions, yet weaving one tapestry together. The secret of love and marriage lays in the emergence of the larger self. It is the finding of one's life by losing it. Such is the privilege of a husband and wife to be each himself, herself, and yet another, to face the world strong with courage, with the courage of two. To make this relationship work, therefore, it takes more than love. It takes trust, to know in your heart that you want only the best for each other. It takes dedication to stay open to one another, to learn and grow, even when it's difficult to do so. And it takes faith to go forward together without knowing what the future holds for you both. While love is our natural state of being, these other qualities are not too easy to come by. They're not a destination, but a journey. The true art of a married life is in the inner spiritual journey. It is the mutual enrichment, a give and a take between two personalities, a mingling of two endowments which diminishes neither, but enhances both. And so as Matthew and Lindsay's friends and family, we are here to share with them this joy and hope, and see them off on the path they will walk together. May it be a path of blessedness, bright with flowers of prosperity and spiritual awakening. A path ever deepening, ever broadening love that will travel arm in, uh, they will travel arm in arm throughout eternity. Matthew and Lindsay, this celebration is the outward token of your uh, sacred and inward union of hearts, which friends and family may bless and the state make legal. It is a union uh, created by your loving purpose and kept by your abiding will. It is in the spirit and for the purpose that you have come here to be joined together. Oh, he left it at home. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> A little pocket lint there. <laughs> Matthew Todd Shepard, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife, to live together in marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, and honor her in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy, so long as you both shall live? I do.
Lindsay, Bria, and Lemu. <laughs> you take this man to be your wedded husband, to live together in marriage, will you love him, comfort him, and honor him, in sickness and in health, in sorrow and joy, so long as you both shall live? Thank you. Traditionally, the marking of the passage to the title status of husband and wife is marked by the exchange of rings. These rings are a symbol of the unbroken circle of love. Love freely given has no beginning and no end, no giver and no receiver, for each is the giver and each is the receiver. May these rings always remind you of the vows you have taken. Matthew and Lindsay, remember to treat both yourself and each other with respect and remind yourselves often of what you brought, uh, of what brought you together. Give the highest priority to the tenderness, gentleness, and kindness that your connection deserves. When frustration, difficulty, or fear hails your friendship or your relationship as they threaten all relations at one time or another, remember to focus on what is right between you, not only the part that seems wrong. In this way, you can ride out the times when clouds hide at the face of the sun in your lives, remembering that even if you lose sight of it for a moment, the sun is still there. And if each of you takes responsibilities for the quality of your lives together, your life together will be marked by abundance and delight. Inasmuch as you have consented together in this ceremony to live in wedlock and have sealed your vows in the presence of the company and by giving of the, by the giving of these rings, it gives me great pleasure to now pronounce you husband and wife. Congratulations, and you may kiss the bride. Woo! Yay. Yay.